testosterone replacement therapy and the prostate. So this is a very important and I would say a very challenging question. Certainly, I think from, from if you look at some of the myths for prostate cancer. So the first thing we have to realize is that for men with low testosterone, what we've seen is, first of all, who needs testosterone? So I have men who come into me all the time and they say, you know, look, I've seen these commercials and they literally say this. I've seen these commercials. And then they say, I see these guys, they look great, you know, they're getting muscle and, you know, look at me. I, you know, and they're give or take in their 50s or 60s and they're overweight and they look pretty exhausted. And they look at me and they say, you know, I think I need some of that because I want to be, you know, I want to be the superhero, you know, on the television. And the first question I have for them is, well, why do you think you have low testosterone? We also call it hypogonadism. So hypogonadism is the term that we actually use for low T. And, you know, I would say, you know, I would say that there's at least probably about 20 to 30 percent of those men that actually come in and request whether they're good candidates are actually not good candidates because what they need to do is they need to clean up their diet and get a little bit of exercise to get them back on track, okay? But that being said, we're not going to push all those guys out the door because there are a fair number of these guys, unfortunately, that actually have a low testosterone. So how does this work? Well, as a man gets older, his testosterone will start to decrease. And we know this actually starting in you know, the late 20s, early 30s, the testosterone continues to start to decrease. And there's ways in which you can minimize that by you know, eating healthy and exercising and, and trying to take care of yourself. And that's one way to kind of to, to, to minimize that. But as that testosterone continues to decrease, that becomes a challenge. And those symptoms are basically a lower libido. Men actually do get associated, some associated erectile dysfunction. They get fatigue. They uh, start getting crabby, at least more crabby than we normally are. And then they also start having problems with actually mentally, you know, really sort of just staying in tune. And, and I would say that a majority of the patients, or at least a fair number of patients that I have, that I put on hypogonadism, it's not because we're trying to, to you know, significantly improve their libido, although it does help. It's the men that just say, look, I can't stay awake. I'm really having a, just tough, a, a tough time on this. So, so when that testosterone decreases, there are numerous things that actually happen with that low testosterone as the things we just discussed. So then the next question is, okay, if I go on testosterone replacement therapy, is it going to increase my risk of developing prostate cancer? And the answer is, we do not have any data that says if we put you on testosterone, it's going to increase your risk for prostate cancer. Let me say that one more time. If we put men, and I would say the appropriate men, on testosterone replacement therapy, we do not have any data that says it's going to increase their risk of prostate cancer. What does happen in select men is that when we start them on testosterone, their PSA may jump up a little bit, and we have to follow that very closely. So I tell men, and certainly with your urologist, again, uh, somebody watching this video and, and having some questions about this, questions you ask your urologist is, if I go on testosterone, what is my PSA? If that PSA starts to climb, climb, not crime, there could be a crime involved, but if it starts to climb, at that point, we've got to figure out, again, are we just causing the prostate to grow, which it'll grow a little bit on there. But if we start to see that PSA get, and normally we'll use a relatively low marker. We use about 0 0.3 to 0 0.5. But if it's above 0 0.5, we know, uh, you know, in a year or so, in six months to a year, we'll say, you know, I consistently we're starting to see that PSA go up. We've got to have that discussion is, is that are we just talking about the prostate growing a little bit or could there be a focus of cancer in there, which now, unfortunately, we've just uncovered because, again, it's hidden in the confines of the, uh, you know, of the prostate itself. So testosterone therapy does not increase the risk of prostate cancer. And I would tell you that it's more important to find out if you're the right guy for that. All, all my patients that go on testosterone replacement therapy, I tell them, cut out the sodas get rid of McDonald's, start eating all, stop eating all the garbage. Let's get you healthy again. Because if we do put you on testosterone therapy, we got to make sure that you're healthy and don't just turn into a bigger you. We want to turn you into a skinnier, a healthier, and hopefully a guy that really will benefit from, from testosterone replacement therapy. Some prostate cancers are high risk, aggressive, and more likely to spread. 
others are low risk, least likely to have bad outcomes. The biopsy says cancer, but current diagnostic tools provide limited information about how aggressive a man's individual disease is, so most men decide to treat prostate cancer immediately. Once treated, many men experience serious long-term side effects, like incontinence and sexual impotence. Immediate treatment isn't always needed, but right now a man can't be sure if his cancer is the kind that is likely to require treatment or if he's okay to wait for now. What if there was a test that could determine how aggressive prostate cancer is? Genomic Health is developing a new test to do just that. By reviewing the underlying biology of the tumor and using genes from multiple biologic pathways, the test can predict the aggressiveness of prostate cancer when diagnosed allowing a man to make a more informed treatment decision with confidence, taking care of himself with more information and greater peace of mind.